Hey, what's up? Chips here, and welcome back to another build tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to build your own ice cream van. So, as you can see here, we've got this kind of red, cool little van here with a few cool little ice cream cones on the top. And then inside, we've just got our classic kind of little workspace here. So, a few little ice cream machine things and a little fridge here. Here are all the materials that you will need. Right, and so for the first bit of your ice cream truck here, so I've got some back wall here. I'm going to place one just here, and then I'm going to leave a gap of five. Place another one there. Then I'm going to leave a gap of three, and then place another two opposite of these two here. And then using some quartz slabs here, from here I'm going to go across five. And then I'm going to go one there. Gonna rotate, do another four. Then we'll do another gap of five. And then in the front, this time, instead of going one, we're gonna go two, either side, and then just connect that up. And then once that's all done, we're just gonna fill in this entire area with all of the slabs here. And then next up for the wheels, so with an iron trap door here, I'm just going to place one on the bottom of each wheel. And then underneath, I'm going to place a lever just to flip it up. And then I'm just going to do the exact same on the other side here. And then finally, I'm just going to add a sign either side of the vehicle here. So once that's all done, I've got some red concrete here. And then from this block, I'm going to go across two, up by four, and then down by another one. Just to this front bonnet kind of thing. And then next to it, I'm going to add a quartz stair. And then I'm going to place another five. And then one more quartz stair. Moving around, and then we're going to add another five blocks here. And then one quartz stair again. So we're just going to mirror what we've done on the other side. And then on the front here, I just realised we've got to replace this with some black walls. So on just this front area here, I'm just going to add some black. And then on these middle three blocks here, I'm going to place three birch signs. So I'm going to do that on either side. And then coming to the front of the vehicle, just on these three black blocks, I'm going to add three iron bars so next up so on this front bonnet here behind these black blocks i'm going to add another row of red and then with our quartz slabs i'm going to place three on top of here and then behind it i'm going to place a row of five and then again we're going to need another row of red and then this time with some black stained glass I'm going to go up by two and then just build it all the way across and then either side of it, I'm going to add some more red concrete. And then after that, I'm going to leave a gap of three. And then with some white wall here, I'm going to do a two by two square. So it should be three across from here. I'm just going to do that on the exact same side. And then behind it, I'm just going to build the rest of the wall up with some more red concrete. And then for the little serving counter here, with some black stained glass, I'm going to place two just either side of the white wall here. And then and then for the wind mirrors, I'm going to add one pane of glass at either side on this massive glass window here. And next up, with some iron trap doors here, I'm going to place one just here and then build it across two. And I'm going to do the exact same on the other side here. And then next up, with some carpet here, with some white, I'm going to place one either side on top of these trap doors. And then some brown in the middle. And do that on the other side as well. And then next, with some red concrete, on top of this window, I'm going to place five again. And then I'm just going to build this all the way back, going back by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Build this across and then round. And then after that, I'm going to fill this whole roof in with some quartz here. And 
And then after that, going to the back with some quartz stairs. I'm just going to place five in a row on this little bit here. And then for our roof section here with some quartz slabs on this front bit, I'm going to place three just here. And then behind that, I'm going to go across five. And then I'm just going to build this all the way around and then just fill it in. And then just to finish on top, I'm going to add two quartz slabs. So one, two, then I'm going to leave a gap of two and then one final slab just on there. All right. So next up for the little ice creams here. So the wisdom sandstone stairs here, I'm going to add one just here, leaving a gap and then another one there. So there should be a gap of one. And then on the left side here, I'm going to add some white wool there for a bit of lovely vanilla ice cream. And then a brown one here for some chocolate. And then with some quartz stairs, I'm going to place one just on top here. And then with some dark oak stairs, another one on top there. And then just for a few extra details here, with an item frame, I'm going to place two either side on the front here. And then I'm going to fill these up with some glowstone. And then moving on to the back. I'm going to add another two item frames and these ones are going to be filled with some red wool and then moving on to the inside here with some white wool just going to fill up this whole wall this whole back wall with it and then i'm going to place a block of quartz either side and then for our fidget in the middle i'm going to add one dispenser and then a block of iron and i'm going to add just a door behind that with a lever on top so then you get some sort of fridge which kind of dispenses stuff that you want. And on either side in these top two corners here, I'm going to add one quartz stair, just either side. And then with a custom head here, I'm going to add just one, two ice creams underneath. And I'm also going to add one on the counter here as well. I'll leave the link to the custom heads in the description. So if you want these custom heads, head over to minecraftheads.com where you can find all sorts of custom heads that you need. If you, want to, if you want to know how to get these custom heads, I've got a command block here. So all you've got to do is give yourself a command block. Just like this. And then we'll place it down. So, we, so if we copy and paste a command that we've copied and pasted from the website, put that in the command block. And then with a lever or just some sort of redstone thing, I'm just going to flick it. And then that will give me a custom head here. And then finally, just in the front bit here, with some quartz slabs, I'm going to place one either side. And then behind that, I'm going to add a door. And then in front of these doors, I'm going to add one banner. So next up for our little ice cream signs here. So I've got my loom here. I'm going to place that down. And then firstly, with a red banner, I'm going to place this in here. And then with some orange dye, I'm going to choose this diamond shape here. So I'm just going to select that. And then next, with some red dye... I'm going to select this shape here, which will give us some sort of cone. And then once that's done, I'm going to duplicate this banner, just so we've got loads of them. And then firstly, for a vanilla cone, I'm going to add the banner back in with the white dye. And then I'm going to choose this little circle, and that'll give you some sort of little ice cream cone here. And then next up again, same process, but I'm going to use some brown dye this time. We've got ourselves a little chocolate one. And then finally... We can another one, then a pink one for strawberry as well. And there we are. So that gives us all our different banners. And then I'm just going to put these on the front of the truck. So I'm going to add vanilla one there, chocolate one there. Might add a strawberry and another vanilla. That gives you your own little menu board. And that is our ice cream truck complete. I'm really happy with this. I think it looks pretty cool. I love these little kind of ice creams on the front here. And also just these banners on the front. I think they look pretty nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I'll see you another time. Have a good day.